Hey there, Seb Fry the Realtor here, and in this video, I'm going to discuss the single best marketing tactic ever if you want to get your home in the Silicon Valley sold quickly and for absolutely top dollar. If you've been struggling to get maximum sale price for your home in the Silicon Valley or the Greater Bay Area, then you're definitely going to want to watch this video. All right, well, before I get into all that, I first want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to do my best to bring you tons of value for the time that you're going to invest in watching it. Uh, but could I ask you one small favor? Could you brink mash that subscribe button right there and subscribe to my YouTube channel? I sure would appreciate it. And uh, hey, don't forget, click that little bell to make sure that you get a notification every time I put up a brand new, fun, fact-filled video kind of like this one. Well, here we are. It's practically all the way through July in 2023. I can't believe we're more than halfway through the year already. And you know what? This real estate market is super strange. It feels like we're in uncharted territory. And we've been saying that at least since the pandemic, but actually over the two decades that I've been a realtor, I can think of many, many times where people have said, gee, this has never happened before. It's one of the uh, fun and exciting things about the real estate uh, business is that it's always never happened before. There's always something new going on. So I understand if you're a little bewildered and perplexed, you know, maybe you've tried to put your home on the market and it didn't sell, or maybe it's in the market right now and it's not selling as fast as you wish it would, or you're not getting the kind of offers that you would like to get for your home. And you're saying, geez, why is this so miserable? Why do I have to like, you know, do all these open houses and do all these showings and like do the dishes and like cut the grass and like, you know, pretend like I'm living in a Barbie dream world or something like that every time somebody comes over to my house. Uh, you know, I get it. I get it. This is, in fact, a very challenging market. But if you are looking to get your home in the Bay Area or really anywhere, actually, anywhere in the whole entire world, I would say, if you want to get your home sold quickly and easily without a lot of muss, without a lot of fuss, and make sure that you get not only the very best price, but the absolute very best price and terms for you given your particular situation, then stay tuned and listen to this. There is one single great marketing tactic. It is the greatest of all marketing tactics. It is better than any photograph you could take. It is better than any video you could make. It is better than any lovely writing copy that you could make describing the wonders of the property. It is better than any advertising that you're gonna do online or in print. It's better than any open house. It's better than any broker's tour. There is nothing better than this one simple, thing that will get your home sold as quickly as possible and for the very highest price. So what is this amazing technique that works anywhere, anytime, in any market for any kind of house? Well, I'm glad you asked. Listen, there are certain fundamental laws uh, that you just have to understand exist for every home, everywhere. Uh, 10 years ago, 100 years ago, and 1,000 years in the future, it is true here in the Bay Area, it is true in California, it's true in the United States, it's true worldwide, and I'll bet you if there's a colony on Mars, it's gonna be true there too. It's a very, very simple law of economics. In fact, I think it is maybe the most basic law of economics, which for some reason, a lot of realtors, most realtors, and lots of homeowners simply choose to ignore. They think that by uh, having this amazing marketing and great photography and videos and all that, doing open houses and broker's tours and like mailings, listen, all those things, they do help. They definitely help because they help you with exposing your property uh, to a wide buyer pool. Although sometimes, sometimes that stuff can backfire on you if you are not presenting the property uh, in the way that the buyer who's going to pay the most wants it to be portrayed. That is, the buyer could look at what you provided and say, you know what, this house isn't for me based on you know the wonderful photos or videos that you provided because there's nothing like actually being at the house and experiencing it that it really makes people buy. The reality is, is that nobody is going to buy your home based on the photographs or the video or the wonderful writing copy or, or any of that marketing stuff. That's really not what makes people write offers. What that can do is it can help people get into the door of your home and see it in person and appreciate it. And then they'll say, 
I want to write an offer. And now I know you're going to say, hey, Seb, I heard about people who are buying properties sight unseen, where they just do a FaceTime walk through uh, through the property uh, with the realtor, perhaps, or they just watch a, a 3D tour or something like that. And they say, yeah, I love this house. I'm going to buy it. But you know what? Funny thing is that when that happens, the fall through rate on those uh, transactions where they actually they make their offer, it goes in a contract uh, before they've actually seen the property. The fall through rate on those is sky high. Accepting an offer from somebody who has never seen your property just based on the photos and the videos and the writing copy and maybe the Google street map or who knows what they're using or maybe their mom went through the property and told them it's great. Listen, you can't afford to uh, sell to somebody who's only going to buy your property based on what they can see or what they've heard about it. Nothing, nothing, nothing is the same as actually being in your property and experiencing it because that's how you get a buyer who's going to fall in love with your property. Because let's face it, buying a home, paying these crazy high prices with these insane interest rates, if they are insane, I don't really think they are, but a lot of people do. But Listen, it's a big commitment to buy a home here in the Bay Area. They're very expensive. You're going to be holding it for a long time. It's a tremendous amount of responsibility. And in order to accept that responsibility, to embrace it, to really want it, to love it for years and years and years to come and to, to pay tons of money, there's no way you're going to get that unless the person comes in the door. They must be in the door. So what's the single best way to get people in the door as quickly as possible and make them fall in love? Well, there's one thing only, and that is you need to exploit the fundamental law of supply and demand. Now, you probably have heard of the law of supply and demand, right? I mean, I think that most people would agree that the law of supply and demand is fundamental and it applies all the time. You know, I think if you were to ask somebody in red China or like communist Russia or even North Korea or, or Cuba, I think if you were to go to any of those places and ask a person on the street, indoctrinated or not into the communist manifesto, what do you think of the law of supply and demand? Is that a real thing? I'll bet you that pretty much everyone's going to say, yeah, it's just so fundamental. Everybody gets it. Listen, when the supply is low and the demand is high, assuming there's not some government regulating the transaction, uh, what happens when supply is uh, low and demand is high? You know what happens. Prices rise. So now let me ask you this. Why wouldn't you use that simple fundamental law of economics in the sale of your house? Why not? Well, a lot of people say, yeah, I believe in the law of supply and demand, but for some reason there's like a little dome around my house and uh, the law of supply and demand doesn't apply to my house. It applies to the other houses on the block, you know, the house down the street maybe, but not to my house. My house is special. My house is unique. My house is different. Uh, you know, my house has some certain things that are about it that, you know, like there just isn't enough, you know, people out there who is going to appreciate these particular aspects of your home, uh, of my home. And that's why supply and demand doesn't actually work for my house. Look, I get it. Your home is your castle. It is definitely unique. Every bit of real estate is unique, but there is nothing that is so unique for your home that there isn't in fact a market price for it. And by using the law of supply and demand, you can leverage that simple economic fundamental principle to really rocket up the price of your home, but not only rocket up the price of your home, but also cause your home to sell very, very quickly and on excellent terms. If that's what you want, if you want a really high price for your home and you want great terms and have it sell really fast and really easy, here's what you do. Listen, ask yourself this, where is there the least supply of homes here in the Bay Area? I don't mean like geographically, I mean like price point wise, where is the least amount of homes here in the Bay Area? And the answer would be at the low end of the market, right? I mean, like there's a lot of fairly expensive homes for sale, right? There's some really, really expensive homes for sale. But in terms of like lower priced homes or homes at the bottom of the pricing spectrum, is there a lot of inventory down there or not very much inventory down there compared to the rest? The answer is, you know it, there are very, very few affordably, affordably priced homes here in the Bay Area. And at the same time, Where's the greatest demand for homes? Is there a, a great demand for like multi-gajillion dollar mansions? The answer is no. Of course, this is the Bay Area. There's tons of billionaires here, multi-millionaires. Yeah, there obviously is demand for very expensive real estate, 
but there's a lot more demand for inexpensive real estate and real estate that's at the bottom end of the pricing spectrum so if you want to get your home sold for a really high price and you want to exploit the law of supply and demand it's really simple you price your home at the bottom end of the range because that is where you're going to find the greatest demand and when there's that imbalance between supply and demand what happens to prices it shoots up so how does that work? What you do is you don't really fixate on like my list price, right? The price that you list your home for sale, all that is simply it's a starting point for negotiating with other buyers. You can think of it as like an opening bid price or like a floor price, right? This is where we start talking with buyers about what you're going to sell your home for, but that's not where you're going to end the discussion. That's just the beginning of the discussion. So that low price, what that does is it serves to get a lot of buyers in the door very, very quickly. And when the buyers see that low price, you know what? Are they complaining that that third bedroom is pretty small? Are they complaining that there's a little bit of road noise off in the distance? Are they complaining about the telephone pole that's in the corner of the front yard? Are they complaining about the, the orange tile that's in the uh, bathroom? No, they're not complaining about any of that. What they're saying is, oh my goodness, would you look at this place? This place is beautiful. I can't believe the prices you're asking for it. We better put an offer on this right away. And you know what? If one person sees that value in a short period of time, guess what's going to happen? A lot of other people are going to see that value too. And you're going to have a lot of offers coming in. I tell my clients, listen, there is no risk in pricing your home really low. I mean, I think you could price your home at a buck. And if you did price it at a buck, you'd probably get like ABC News and like CNN would be in your front lawn, like uh, talking about, you know, this crazy, crazy marketing strategy that you're using. And that would probably get even more people looking at your home. Listen, you can't price your home too low. What you can do, though, is you can accept an offer that is too low. So if you're using a strategy where you just want to get a lot of buyers in your door as quickly as possible and have them start competing, you can't just accept the first offer that comes along. Now, I don't want to have this whole video be about the ins and outs and mechanics of how that strategy actually works, uh, but that is what negotiation is all about. And so many realtors, most, I'm not sure what percent, 99% of realtors, they really don't like to negotiate. Uh, but that's what I do. I actually, I negotiate and I massage and I squeeze and I like push and pull on those offers uh, to extract from the market, from all available buyers, because when you have that, that enticing price, you're going to get every single available buyer. Because when buyers compete for your home, guess who wins? you win. Hey, listen, if you want to talk more about using this fundamental law of, of economics, the law of supply and demand, uh, this number one surefire thing that works every single time to get your home sold quickly and easily for the very highest price possible, give me a call. My number is here at the bottom of the screen. I would love to talk to you about your particular situation and what we can do to make sure that you get the very best price and terms for your property in today's topsy-turvy, crazy, up and down, left and right, back and forth real estate market. All right, that's all I have for this video. Hey, thank you so very much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you like this video, I'm guessing, just a guess, you might also like some of these videos over here. These are some of the most popular videos here on my YouTube channel, so please do check those out. And don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you would. All right, that's all I got for this one. Thank you so very much for watching, and please stay tuned.